In less than six weeks' time, an Adelaide teenager will be living his dream when he lines up alongside the likes of Tiger Woods and Fred Couples in the US Masters. 19-year-old Antonio Madaka arrived in Augusta today for an invitation-only practice round. But before he left, we joined him on his final hit at Grange. Antonio Madaka was just two and a half when his obsession began. 17 years later, he's reached his sporting summit, about to tee off against the world's best at the US Masters. And it's all thanks to the comedy Happy Gilmore. He just made it seem so fun. He begged his parents, Dominic and Antonia, to buy him some plastic clubs. And despite his dad harbouring dreams of a soccer career for his only child, Antonio had only one goal. I just loved it from the start, coming out with Dad in the afternoons and playing holes, so it was just, this is just what I wanted to do. Success came quickly. The Grange Golf Club had to change its rules to allow him to become a member at just nine years of age. A decade later, he's putting the finishing touches on his game before heading off to Augusta. Is that all? That would do me. Where's that? Oh, in the middle. <laughs> just in the middle. I think I'm in the trees, I'll see you in a minute. The 19-year-old won his ticket to the world's most prestigious tournament with a runaway win in the Asia-Pacific Amateur Championships. It's just amazing, it's hard to express my, my feelings still, like, just think, thinking about it every day. So are the Grange members. Do us prayer, won't you? We'll do. But aside from his parents, there's no one prouder than Nick McCormack. You can dream but you can't imagine until you're there. Antonio's very first coach. So far, so good. But I'll be watching with great interest to see how he goes. But just to be there at Augusta is just a dream come true. For the rest of the world, he's seen as an overnight sensation. But success has come through sheer hard work. Antonio trains for more than five hours a day. Hoping it all comes together when he lines up on the first tee on April the 9th. I don't know what to expect. I've never stood on a tee with um, that many people around before. So it's going to be a different experience for me. And while he still remembers what inspired his golfing obsession, he has no plans to do a happy Madaka in Augusta. Highly unlikely, I think, at this stage. Do you reckon you get invited back if you did it? No, probably not. <laughs> I'm not sure Grange Golf Club will have us back after doing that. Breaks, did, breaks the etiquette. <laughs> did you find the ball or not? Mine? No, nah, no chance. You'd make a great caddy, my friend. <laughs> Good on you, Trevor. See you tomorrow.